Greetings passengers, I'm Colonel Felia and welcome back to Ouagadougou International Airport where I am the airport CEO. Uh, last time around we, uh, we encountered well, many difficulties of, of many different flavours. Uh, no one wanted to use the bathroom uh, and, uh, and for some reason I couldn't bulldoze any of the, uh, the previous kind of sign-in uh, check-in desks. Uh, which was which is you know problematic, uh, especially for one with uh, uh, proclivities towards bulldozing such as I am. Um, so uh, up, upon reloading and upon the latest game update, it seems like that has been resolved, uh, as I am now able to uh, mark many objects for demolition. Uh, they did, that just seems to be working fine. I'm, I'm still nonplussed as to as to why the uh, why the bathrooms uh, aren't, aren't happier, but uh, well, we'll we'll figure that out over time. Um, I'm going to uh, up the tempo a touch here while we uh, while we take all this stuff apart. There you go, chaps. Take all that stuff apart if you'd be so kind. There you see, look lovely. Uh, now we can use our glamorous new orderly. Uh, desks of check-in, uh, which will work much better. Now, I actually haven't got any planes booked uh, for today. I've, I've, I've no flights set in the slightest. Um, and I, po I probably ought to get that going again, uh, lest the evil persist. No, I just, just generally speaking, I ought to get that going again. Um, but I think I will take the remainder of day nine, for that is where we are, to, uh, to remodel the, uh, the the airport such as we have at the moment. The big question you should be asking is whether I am going to let Victor Kamau out of his prison. So given that the former bathroom wasn't working, I'm, I'm going to bulldoze it. Uh, we'll, we'll take that down as part of the, uh, the remodeling program that I've got in mind. Uh, and uh, and then we'll we'll go from there. The the issue that uh, we may or may not encounter is uh, is can I uh, dezone it at the same time? Uh, because uh, clicking on the zoning uh, options, let's unpause. Uh, I don't see a dezone option. A possible solutions to the uh, the the lack of bathroom usage uh, ranged from did it need to be in a secure area? Already is. Uh, does it need to be zoned as a bathroom? Uh, already was. Uh, I'm pretty sure I zoned it as a bathroom first, uh, but now I'm being told that a room cannot be built on other rooms. So I, I, I don't know. I'm at a bit of a loss, uh, which is why I'm, I'm now, you know, getting shot of uh, uh, of this bathroom setup that we've got going on here. Uh, other possible uh, reasons were: is that a staff door? It's a good one, but no, just a small door. Uh, so there's there's no kind of rational explanation for why it was giving me the run around uh, and Victor will stay incarcerated until I have resolved this situation uh, but first I'm going to uh, I'm just going to bang in some floor here we'll turn this into general concourse I'm sure no one will really mind that uh, that they're strolling around on what was a bathroom given that the uh, the bathroom was never used by anybody does, does someone want to bulldoze this bit of wall? Anyone at all? Who's been given that job? Is it... Uh, oh, he's got a trowel look. It's Mitchell. Mitchell's got that job. Get it done, Mitch. Take it apart. Take it down. Good man. Uh, splendid. Right, let's uh, get that tiled beautifully as well. There we are. Uh, I might even put a plant in later to, to make people feel right at home. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah, thanks, Mitch. Yeah, you're not the star of the show. Um, right, okay, so I'm, I'm going to need a bathroom. I'm going to plonk it in uh, probably up here somewhere, I think. Uh, I don't really want to get in the way of, of what will become, hopefully, a slightly more orderly uh, setup in the future, but uh, I guess I guess it's that there's no real harm in doing so. There's a lot of people milling about. Oh, it's all staff. Staff and contractors just hanging around the place, making it look untidy. Uh, let's uh, let's actually open the airport, open the airport, and we'll open security while we're at it. Not that I'm going to let any planes in just yet, you understand, but uh, but let's do that. In other breaking news, uh, and thanks again to commenters. Uh, however, I forget exactly uh, 
who it was made the comment. I've got to disconnect it before I can remove it. Okay, fine. Uh, reconnect stand. Clear stand. Clear stand. And now it's got a picture there that I don't I don't fully understand. But uh, no, we're going to we're going to get rid of all of our our our, our uh, boarding desks here because. Uh, there is a way that uh, that the absence of symmetry that they have currently uh, should no longer bother anybody. Now, you'll, you'll like this. It's a it's a, an amazing solution that really anybody with a with a bit of left brain could have uh, could have come up with. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just you're not connected. So how about just get bulldozed, will you? Thank you. Get dozed, and you as well. Once more, with feeling. There we are, smashing. Right, so, uh, my uh, my handy-dandy workforce will remove them, at which point I'm going to need, obviously, to put uh, boarding desks back in again. Um, now, it was said that uh, the... Uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, the, the, the small stands that I'm using right now, you actually don't really need uh, boarding desks uh, or gates for them to operate uh, effectively. Uh, however, I, I prefer it as a look, I, I, you know, light aircraft or no, um, uh, you know, I'm setting this up like your, your modern airport, but hopefully in the next few moments we shall, uh, we shall develop a, uh, a, a slightly more, um, uh, what am I, uh, yeah, a large, uh, some, some medium gates I want to get set up for when we, uh, when we accept flights again. Anyway, uh, to evade... No, you've, you've put that in the wrong place, mate. You know, that's, you've done that wrong. Uh, flipping, put it back in, in the right place. See, it's, it's all this talking while trying to build stuff. Doesn't half monkey with your brain occasionally. Anyway, right. Yeah, uh, Yes, so to avoid the pain of a lack of symmetry on uh, at your boarding desk area, just uh, just place them horizontally instead of vertically. and uh, And then everybody's happy. And, uh, and we can all go about our business. Either that, or use medium, medium doors. But by using medium doors, you're going to face, you're going to be confronted by the same problems, because these uh, these crossing strips are uh, an odd number. So there we are. That's that's that sorted out. And you know, I could possibly make a, a little a little uh, boarding wall here, which might look quite nice. Let's yeah, let's. Uh, well, I don't know whether it look nice or not, but it will look uh, efficient. So if we do that, for example, and then we uh, we connect the stand. Pretty sure that's in the right place. Yep, there we go. So if we bang in a bit of wall here, it looks like you know there's a, there's a modicum of security at play. Uh, and if I do that for all of them, as much as it's it's not the uh, the greatest space usage you might ever encounter, uh, it should uh, should look quite fetching, I think. Uh, I, I, don't get me wrong, I am wasting an enormous amount of space in this terminal at the moment, but uh, but all being well, over time it will be so chock full of passengers that uh, that we'll all be jolly jolly pleased with uh, with the layout that we've we've set up. Well, that's the plan anyway. We'll we'll just have to see what the reality ends up looking like. Uh, right, okay, do that. Now, since I'm in a bit of a reorganizing mood, let's uh, let's get rid of these benches as well. Uh, that, that appeared to be my staff sitting down on the job there. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll accept some general aircraftage uh, since we've got uh, we've got nothing uh, nothing formal booked in for the day. Uh, connect you back up as well. Thank you. And this one as well. Uh, the other outstanding task I've got to do is to rename these things so it doesn't say gate. Uh, uh, because, uh, well, partly it's superfluous, but... Uh, uh, so instead of gate 06, this is just going to be 06. There we are. Happy-go-lucky. Uh, which would make this one a fuel truck. No, not a fuel truck. Gate 05. Excellent. And... Uh, so on down the row and then we'll do a quick zoom out and make sure I've got them all properly set up then we're in a bathroom then I need to hire some people then I need to figure out how we're going to do uh, uh, the big the bigger the bigger stands 
Uh, we're not quite ready for big stands yet, although uh, I don't think I've even researched them, so uh, uh, there we go. Let's see if I've... I'm going to assume I named those correctly. If I didn't, uh, it should be pretty obvious. Uh, I've got a couple more benches to uh, dispose of. There we are. Uh, and then we, can, uh, then we can make that nice and neat. Uh, I'm looking forward to being able to deploy a duty-free setup. Let's repair the runway. It's a sensible thing to do with ourselves. So, uh, I was about to repair the hangar because that looks a little bit scruffy as well, but it seems to be fine. Oh, next on the to-do list was, uh, it's been requested that uh, my, uh, uh, not service road, taxiways, that my taxiways were uh, were made to be a little wider. Your wish is my command, sometimes. Today being one of those times. And black this all the way up there. There we are. See? Look, there you go. Everybody can be happy now. Uh, especially the uh, those those with a with any level of, of piloting or airport operation experience who uh, who acted particularly uh, distressed at the uh, the thinitude of the uh, uh, of the taxiways that I had employed. Um, hopefully this will uh, this will alleviate your uh, your stress levels to a degree, as much as you know this is a this is a splendid way to spend money for no real profit. But uh, you know, say la vie, right? Well, we'll accept another one of those fellas. There we are. Right, good. Yeah, actually, I have to admit that does look a whole lot better. Um, it'll look better still when I can I can throw in a few more airport vehicles of a random variety. It seems like every airport I ever go to, it's just got all manner of, of odds and ends just kind of parked up all over the show. Uh, and uh, and I, want to, I want that as soon as possible. Baggage trucks, that's what I want to see. And I know that means that I'm going to have to uh, fight the terror that is the, uh, the baggage system, which, uh, which looks pretty fearsome. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm prepared to take it on in the name of uh, high-value internet entertainment. Right, so I've left three there for reasons I don't fully understand, but we're going to replicate this all the way down because there's nothing like having every stand identical for allowing people to get easily lost. But you would think the big number written directly above the gate would do the job there. Uh, two, three, and right there. We had an email arrived, apparently. Hold on. Yeah, you've done that one wrong, look. Look, take that one away. I mean, you know, you got the second one wrong. Uh, if, if this isn't rocket science. You're, you're counting to two, right? And then, and then you're just placing the thing in. I mean, it's this is. We're not. Uh, we're not staging a moon mission. Uh, just, you know, that's three, and then we do two, like that. Which is right. Okay. All right. Maybe I did do it right the first time. It didn't. Look, it looked like I'd gone too far. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, and there. You don't get as many benches, I'm afraid. In fact, you don't get any. I haven't got room for it. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to share the gate, uh, the next gate along's benches. But we don't have that many passengers right now, so it shouldn't really concern you too greatly. Uh, right. Let's uh, let's plumb in, uh, figuratively and literally, a bathroom, uh, and see uh, see if we can't alleviate the uh, the bladders of those who are travelling. Uh, from a Wagadougou International Airport. Uh, we'll go out as far as that one. Uh, I'm going to make this bathroom a, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more humane than the last. Well, the, the previous one was was just a smidge cramped. I think. Uh, ooh, we're clearly building some kind of palace to uh, to uh, washroom facilities, and I've done an even number of blocks, which means I can't easily divide it into two. That's jolly helpful. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Somehow I've managed to pull off twelve by fourteen. Yeah. Yeah, see, uh, an odd number there. In fact, you know, why why settle for that? Let's uh, let's do this. There you go. That's Fox, that guy who'd come in to build it. Uh, let's then do that instead. Uh, while we're about it, we'll we'll even we'll even double door these. But uh, before doing so, I want to I want to wall it back up again. There's the wall. Does that look like the middle? Looks like the middle. Doesn't look like the middle. What have we got below? Three, six, above. Three, five. Three, 
six. Can count. Okay, good. And then we can have, you know, uh, uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen's toilets, uh, which will be uh, splendid for all involved, one would hope. Uh, we'll even go with a medium door since we, we can trust those. Those are the kinds of doors you can trust. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do a medium door. I'm going to trust in the small door, uh, but we'll have two of them on each bathroom. Like a, an indoor and an outdoor. Won't that be nice? Uh, right, let's tile this one up. There we go. See, that's, that's looking pretty nice. Okay, right, so we've we've built ourselves a, an epic level bathroom, uh, which I shall now dedicate as such. Bathroom and bathroom. It's a le and legal position, and I'm glad to have that confirmed. Uh, and then, hold on, I saw trash cans there, and I know what you're thinking. Those of you who've been around for a while will have already noticed that, I, that maybe if I were to put trash cans at the end of the benches, got to have a bench and a bin working in tandem. Although, again, this is this is not symmetrical. I might have to put two bins. Or maybe a bin and a plant would be the way to go. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll develop this system. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's, do, let's get ourselves some bathroom action here. Uh, for the gentlemen, we shall go... Uh, Quite a quite a few urinals, but we'll uh, we'll do uh, a little bit of privacy space in between each one. How's about that? In fact, you know what else? We'll do this as well. Hold on, over, hold on. Have I got this the wrong way around? No, you haven't. That's fine. Like that. I, yeah, I've seen this done. Uh, I've been to uh, motorway services. This is this is how you lay them out. You stick this down there, right, and then you grab yourself uh, some sinks. Right, and you bang those over the other side with your Dyson dryers uh, at the ends. If it's a good rest stop, if it's not, you don't get Dyson dryers. Instead, you get some hateful flipping knockoff that doesn't do the job properly. Uh, right, in the ladies. Now, what I know of ladies' bathrooms is uh, an awful lot of queuing tends to be required. So, uh, so we shall, we shall over-index on the number of facilities available such that uh, we can alleviate the queuing for the ladies. Uh, I have seen this happen, and uh, we, uh, we are going to attempt to resolve it. We'll give a, a plethora of sink options in there. I think that's good. Right, okay. Now, no one can complain there are no bathroom facilities anymore. Uh, obviously, if the, if the gentlemen want a more robust uh, ablution system going on, I haven't, I haven't really provided that. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's stick a, a couple in. And, and in fact, I've left nowhere good to, oh, we could stick one there, I suppose. That's a terrible location. I've left nothing but terrible locations here. Ho-hum, there we go. We'll, we'll have, <laughs> we'll have, we'll have one, one, uh, one stall for the gentleman and see how they get on with that. Uh, I'm sure they'll all pretend that they can hold it for the entire duration of their flight. Uh, right, small plants uh, to accompany the bins, uh, which will hopefully make the bins smell just a little nicer. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm going behind it. Right, I'm going to pause because we're coming up on midnight. I've spent the entire of day nine uh, basically rebuilding what I had already, but it's nicer now. So we've still got this oddity going on down here, but uh, but that can be resolved as and when uh, demand starts to escalate, as it certainly will in the near future. Uh, meanwhile, let's go shopping for punters. Email inbox. Oh, hello, construction tutorials. You're a little late for that, friend. Uh, I've uh, I've done quite a lot of this already. In fact, let's go through anything that hasn't. Oh, never mind. Yeah, just delete all of it. There we are. That's it. Receipt for food franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. details. I'll worry about that. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm sure. Uh, where's my uh, contract negotiation area? Right. Let's get ourselves some planes. Oh, we've got lots of choices. Uh, in fact, tons of them. Uh, expires day eight. 
then that one's already that one's already expired. Let's go for the ones that expire on day nine. Uh, what have we got? Six light class flights. Yes. There we go. I'll take that. Uh, this one as well. Yep. Uh, as long as they don't require baggage handling or the or the like. What I don't want to do is take any contracts that I'm almost certainly going to fail. Uh, we will only take ones that have a... I didn't even read those last two, because, you know, I'm that confident in my team. Uh, let's block those in. Uh, let's block those in. OEO CLM, you, you are first first stick there. Uh, Tuesday, wrote Mr. Kipling. It's... Uh, to, that's today. So what we're looking for here is Wednesday... And then we'll uh Right, CLM, you can have uh, you can have gate one. Uh I hope you're I hope you're very happy with it. And we'll we'll mash you through as quickly as possible here. Now at some point with the number of gates that I am currently operating, I will come unstuck uh with the the sheer number of flights that I'm trying to uh trying to handle at any one time uh, but I'm, I'm optimistic that, uh, that for the moment at least I can, I can cope uh, right just one what's going on here this is new I have not seen this before just one flight you want one f one flight well fine so you can you can handle the good you can sit on gate two uh, Skylink wanna wanna fling all manner of business up my way. Uh, I'm good with that. Yep. Flight overlaps other flight on other day. What? Which flight is it overlapping? Who knows? But that's something I've not seen before as a as a problem. Uh, so uh, hopefully it won't be. Uh, right, let's bang this in. Now I am. Uh, uh, I have heard tell that uh, that in the future development of this game, uh, you will be able to uh, uh, to have recurring flights rather than having to manhandle uh, every single flight that comes in, and and that's a that's a winner in my opinion because. Uh, I'm not putting a huge amount of care and attention, and what I would love to see is uh, is that over time you're you're filling out, you know, weeks, months of uh, of flights at a time, and so when a tasty new contract comes along, you have the option of you know junking one that you've got already, uh, or sticking with it. Anyway, uh, that is going to wrap it up for the time being. The airport is now open for business. Uh, I can build a, a little shop here, I think, uh, which is nice. Um, and uh, and we'll start there next time. Let's just check the uh, the board here. Uh, strategy director. Yeah. So we can we can we can stick a little shop in, uh, which we shall do uh, before adding medium sized flights. Now the only concern I have regarding medium sized flights is that I'm also going to uh, uh, going to need um, uh, baggage handling. So I think Little Shop and Baggage Handling is where we're going to go next. Why not tune in for that? Uh, that could be something that you find moderately engaging. Um, uh, anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, hurl a like in this direction. I want this guy off my stand right now. Uh, because I've got real planes coming in soon. You there. Clear, clear stand? Clear no? Where's the sling your hook button? Where's the get out Vacate my airport. I have planes coming in. Next arrival, no future arrivals. Which gate are we on here? So I thought it was gate three. Surely I've got gate three. I've got an arrival coming up. I have. Hmm. Okay. Mysterious. Uh, subscribe if you're not yet done so, and, uh, and that way you'll be sure not to miss your flight to exotic locations around the world. Uh, I'll be back very soon. Cheerio. Cheerio.